This is a continuation of our flywheel monitoring and control application. Here we'll add the ability to see the information in real time as well as continuing the functions of monitoring and control. Just as a quick refresher, what we have is a magnet on a flywheel right here and when it passes this Hall effect sensor, the Hall effect sensor goes high, we push with the analog output channel going onto the solenoid and then the Hall effect sensor goes low when this magnet comes past it and then we let this coast around and continue to run. What we'd like to be able to do now is see this Hall effect sensor signal scrolling by in real time as well as performing the monitoring control function. So from our last application this is the code that we developed. Here you see that we set up the analog input, we set up the acquisition rate, we start it, we go and read a single point out of this thing and then we take that information and we pass it up to the analog output. I know I have nearly a 5 volt signal so I'm multiplying it by 2 to get up close to 10 volts and then I send that out to the analog output which goes over to my solenoid to drive it. So what we're going to do now is add some other functionality in here. I'm going to add a frame after this and this will create a little bit of room then I'll stretch this out and create some room to put some things in here. So this is our task for our analog output right here. I'm going to break these wires and I'm going to insert a couple things here. In fact, I'm going to take this block of code right here and I'm going to copy it over there, but I'm going to be altering these settings on the read property node. So let's take this, hold down the control key and just drag it over here and it stretches it out. So the first thing I'll do is make sure I run the task information back over to this because that's all the same. It's on the same channels. So I'll wire those in. And then I'll make sure that I wire these back out so everything's set up when we're ready to do that. We'll clean up bad wires so we'll get rid of things like that in a minute. Here though I'm going to continue to re uh, reference this relative to the most recent sample but my offset I'm going to tell it to go back minus 1000 points. The other thing I have to do is not just take one sample, I want to take multiple samples. So I'll keep it as single channel but multiple samples and then I'll return this as a waveform. That'll be fine. I'm going to send that information up to the waveform graph which we left over here. So we'll bring this over put it inside here and then I'll take the data that comes out of here and send it up to the graph. Let's clean up the bad wires. I see that my run arrow is, says it's ready to go and I'll just clean it up to make it all look good. And that's the simple addition. But what's going to happen, we'll still continue to read our analog value, multiply it by 2 and do the output, but then we'll move the pointer back in the buffer We'll go back and take the most recent 1,000 samples and we'll not wait any time because that's already sitting in memory. We'll do this read and then we'll put it up in the waveform and then this loop will run over and over again. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our front panel. I'll minimize this so that you can see this run again. I'll hit the start button and our flywheel takes off and you can see now that our waveform is scrolling along. As the wheel begins to gain speed, you can see that those pulses are coming closer and closer together. Now some information about the data that you're seeing there, that's all acquired at 1,000 samples per second and it's all being displayed. We can see that in real time. The wheel begins to pick up speed faster and faster. We're also taking that single point out and then we're feeding it over to the analog output after we multiply it by two. So this is a way that we can use the buffer pointer changes to be able to see the data in real time see all of this data and not delay this loop at all and you can see that the loop is really beginning to, to pick up there as a the flywheel picks up its speed. So this is an acquisition application with continuous input, the analog output response, real-time display and we're doing it with the NI-USB 6211, LabVIEW and the DAC MXVIs.